What is the act of view of reading and why should you care? In this video, we're going to break down this model of reading. I'm Angela Griffith and I help teachers to create positive learning experiences for the students that they serve. Now in the science of reading, there are a few models. We have the simple view of reading and then Scarborough's Reading Rope came along about 20 years later and they expanded on that view of reading. Now if you haven't watched my video on those two reading models, you can click here to get to those or I'll leave it linked for you in the description below. Researchers by the name of Duke and Cartwright use these models along with more current research to create the active view of reading. Now this is considered to be a reader's model. And they stated that reading is impacted by text, task, and sociocultural context. This model has a few things in common with the simple view of reading and the reading rope, such as phonological awareness, decoding, and recognition of words at sight. They extended the simple view of reading and the reading rope by using research from many other disciplines that factor into a child's success for reading such as self-regulation and the bridging processes between word recognition and language comprehension. We're going to spend our time taking a look at the bridging processes. There's always been what I like to call this tension in teaching. How do you move students from the word recognition domain to the language comprehension domain? This is where the bridging processes come in. I feel like it's been saying a lot of what educators have been saying for years and it's put it into words for us. So as you know, there's a lot that is needed to bridge the gap between the two. This includes print concepts, reading fluency, vocabulary knowledge, morphological awareness, which is meaning, and then there is a big word, graphophonological, semantic, cognitive flexibility. If you look over to the left of the graphic, it also talks about active self-regulation. We know that if students are unable to self-regulate, there is not a lot of learning that is going to go on. So under this, we have motivation and engagement, executive function skills, and strategy use. So I found that once I understood the active view of reading, it really opened up new possibilities for effective teaching for me. Now, if you haven't watched the videos on the simple view of reading and Scarborough's reading rope, you can click on the screen and I'll see you over there.